What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. I know Pistons fans should be hyped as can be right now. We're like the 20th pick in the draft right now, and they've already stole this draft. They've won it as best as any team could have. They didn't even pick in the top four, and I feel like they really won this draft. And they got Jaden Ivey and Jalen Duran, who are, you know, one Jaden Ivey was a top four or top five prospect in the first place, most explosive player in the draft. Jalen Duran's a mammoth of a man that can play center. He can play big, really good defender. And I just, I just love what they did. You you got a backcourt mate for Cade Cunningham, who's explosive, can play some defense. He has the tools for it. It hasn't been all put together yet. And this is Jaden Ivey I'm talking about. Uh, the jumper has been a little inconsistent in college, but it's improved and his form is pretty good. So it's not something that you're like, oh, it's not like Lonzo Ball's form when he came out where it was like, damn, that's janky. It's a pretty smooth looking shot. It's just, you know, him just toning it and getting even better. NBA coaches will help him do that. And, you know, you got somebody that's going to like bring energy to the fan base. Cade is obviously going to do that anyway, but getting him somebody that he can, he can, literally can run with is great. Like He's going to have some poster dunks this season that are going to get the Detroit fans up and out of their seats. It's going to be great to watch. He's going to be a lot of fun for this team for the next five to 10, 15 years <laughs> Who knows, maybe even longer, depending how his health and his career plays out. He's my favorite player in the draft. It's just that simple. And, you know, I don't know what Killian Hayes is going to be. He hasn't really proven anything at the NBA level yet. But Jaden Ivey looks like somebody you can plug and play right now, and he can learn on a team that might, like, they're kind of making a run for maybe a playoff push next season because you have Cade going into his second year. Typically, those players take, take a nice little leap. And then you got Sadiq Bey, who's uh, shown that he's a capable NBA player who's improving. You get Jalen Duran, who's a center now. And then there's the rumors that you're going to get DeAndre Ayton, which I'm a big proponent of. I really want that to happen. I would love the idea of Ayton being the center of this team. Jalen Duran, he's a he's a physical big man. He, he, I think he averaged over two blocks a game in college, played for Memphis. Like, I like what he's got raw talent. I think he's, you know, he doesn't have a, a three-point shot or anything like that yet. Anything like that, it looks like. But he looks like he's going to have some tools to be a, a quality center. And that's like Charlotte fumbled that as bad as you could have. You've been struggling at center for like forever. And you don't take, you don't keep the one guy that seems like, yeah, that was a, the right pick. And they trade him to Detroit, which credit to Detroit. They got two, you know, top prospects for the cost of a 2025 Milwaukee Bucks pick. That's probably going to be in the late 25 to 30 range because Giannis isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So, bravo, bravo. Jeremy Grant basically got turned into Jalen Duran from what that trade looks like to me. Uh, you know, getting uh, a top 15 player, getting a top 15 pick for somebody like that, that's a good haul. Uh, they were getting clowned yesterday, you know, because they're like, oh, Detroit got fleeced, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, well, you know, let's just, let, let's just see how these things play out. And they turned it into a lottery pick. So, bravo to them. I love what they did. Jaden Ivey, I, I hope he's going to be a star. I watching him in college and in, in the tournament and then he didn't play great in the, in the games they lost to end the tournament or whatever, but he was explosive in the games before that. I was taking over uh, reading passing lanes, monster dunks. It's like, he's, he's going to be fun to watch Detroit. And I hope you guys enjoy him, love him and show him everything that, what it's like to be a piston because this team looks like it's on the comeback and it's been, you know, probably 10, 15 years since it's really felt like they were contending for anything. And I, I really like the trajectory of this team. I'm dying to see if they get DeAndre Ayton because one, well, that puts Jalen Duran probably in a better situation where he's the backup big with uh, uh, B. Stu, um, how, Isaiah Stewart. And, you know, you can kind of get some competition amongst the guys. This is if you get Ayton, of course. Uh, I just, I like what they did. I like that they did. They, they got good players on a team that just needed good players. So Pistons fans, let me know how you feel about your draft. Uh, we're only on pick 21 right now. So they might get somebody else, but I'm going to cut this one here. If they do. Wow. But, uh, you know, Ivy and Duran, excellent haul. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoy this kind of content, please like the video, but I can't wait to watch him Pistons basketball for the first time in quite a long time. I'm done here. Peace.